and I have the sickest chick in the game. She's so awesome. <laughs> it's just in the way that Justin talks about her that he expresses, it almost looks like he is like forcing how much he's interested in her. I got the coolest chick in the game. <laughs> On the first Justin and Haley video, there was actually a lot of response to that. People were saying, I went soft on Justin. I thought it was interesting that people noticed that because I actually was purposely going a little soft and I don't know why I went a little soft, but here's the interesting thing. A couple months after that, I was sitting having lunch with my buddy. Somebody passed by me and it was this girl and I caught her staring at me as she was walking by and I was like, who is that girl? I looked again, I was like, was that Haley Bieber? And then after that girl passed, I I was like, all right, if that was Haley Bieber, then Justin Bieber's gotta be right. And then I looked for it and Justin Bieber walked by as well. And I go, did Haley Bieber see this video? <laughs> The last video I did. As she was passing by again, I creepily took out my phone and just did a little recording thing. But I have this weird feeling like I really do want to see the best in them. I really do want to see a great relationship in them. And that's why I want to look at it over again. And so today we're gonna watch Justin Bieber Seasons with Justin and Haley. I generally can tell vibes from people pretty easily. I'm a social coach, I've been doing this for a long time, but I don't know why. I just wanna give this the benefit of the doubt. I wanna like Justin Bieber. I don't like Justin Bieber. I wanna like him. I like Haley. I think, I mean, how could you not like Haley? She's just the sweetest, kindest person. And really quick, if you haven't watched my channel before, my name's Anthony Restinello. I am a social and relationship coach living in Los Angeles. I've been doing this for the past 15 years. If you like this channel, if you wanna see it grow, if you wanna see me do bigger and better things on this channel for you, then I just created a new membership for you where I give you access to behind the scenes of my videos. It's $5 a month and also you get discounts on my upcoming courses, my upcoming merch. You get access to my group video chat in Discord where you get to actually video chat with me. And most of all, you're supporting the channel. It's only $5 a month. Ultimately, I'd love to be putting out more than one video every day. So like 14, 15, 16, 17 videos a week. Me reacting to a ton of stuff. Me putting out my first date series. Me putting out my classic charm series. Even more stuff. Me doing more collabs with other YouTubers and celebrities and influencers. And also, I am gonna give members first pick on certain reaction videos. Who do you want me to react to? I'm gonna leave it up to you. If you're interested in that, please support me. The link is down in the description. Without further ado, let's get to more fucked up relationship shit from Justin and Haley Bieber. Does this look like a playground to you? This is a studio workplace and you're disrupting me. That is not cool. Okay, so I've seen this clip before. Um, I've seen people talk about how this clip is part of like Justin's toxic behavior. This is not at all toxic behavior. This is just be him being playful. This is just him joking around with his wife. Now, if you see this next to toxic behavior, next to him really throwing jabs at Haley, it would make sense to see this as also toxic behavior. But honestly, this is, this is just normal, playful relationship stuff. He's just teasing her. He's just being lovable. Uh, this is not negative at all. Moving on. With your without outfit on, that was like the first thing that they put about their relationship on video. I always like wanted to be married. I always wanted a family. That was always high on my list, but I didn't know it would happen. And so I'm really pumped about it. I'm really happy about it. And I have the sickest chick in the game. She's so awesome. <laughs> it's just in the way that Justin talks about her that he expresses. It almost looks like he is like forcing how much he's interested in her. I got the coolest chick in the game. <laughs> like, I don't know, in the face, I don't know, just something's not right. It looks like he's like, it looks like he's putting on a face. I can't, I really, it's kind of weird. Um, but again, that's, to me, I'm more weirded out by that than him like teasing her about coming into the vo voice booth. That's, yeah. It's just such a big life decision that it 
it was just, it was so much emotion all one time. You guys, how old are you laughing? You guys look so epic. Why? Why do they work so so well together? I don't know. I think she's probably got a lot of patience. <laughs> yeah. I think she's the only one that can put up with me. For real. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but it's like, he says it like there's nothing he could do about it. You freezing? What about now? Not yet. We're seeing the aftermath of something that Dicky that Justin probably did to Haley right there. And then he tries to cheer her up by doing a little silly kick thing. And she's like, no, not yet. I'm not over this right yet. Based on the last video, I feel like this probably happened several times a day and she's just used to it. She's an extroverted feeler. If you don't know what that means, look it up or go to my friend Eric Wen's channel. The link is in the description for that. He talks about personalities, Myers-Briggs types, cognitive functions all day long. It's really interesting. Anyway, again, he acts like it's something that he can't change. First time me and Haley met, dang, uh, I was, uh, on an early morning show and she did not want to be there. For the most like young girls though, back in the day, it was like, we want to see Justin Bieber tight. Like, let's go. She was like, got there. Her eyes were like closed. She was like, nice to meet you. Like she didn't care at all. Hey, John, my name is Steve. And the third song, you doing, bro? You think it's my daughter, Haley. The third song, yeah. I think she like grew up, her dad was kind of in the industry. I think she was a little jaded at the time. I'll blame it on her jadedness. I don't know. I don't know if she was feeling like she didn't care. I think she was probably just so nervous and maybe used to meeting celebrities, but at the same time anxious about Justin that it came out in this just kind of emotionless way. And I'll bet you Haley probably told him that she just wasn't excited about it, but she probably was. Back in the studio, cutting the song, keep on forgiving me. This one over here, Haley, she just, every time I do something stupid, she forgives me. So there's that. Girl forgives me left and right. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a damn I'm a damn nightmare. But see, he has that weird, like, creepy smile when he says it, like he knows he's gonna keep doing it forever, and he knows that she's gonna keep forgiving him forever. Ah, uh, again, same thing with the last video. And this isn't even like an Instagram live where everything's real is real is real. This is a well edited video and they keep bringing this stuff up. It's like they tried to see if they could hide it, but instead they were like, it's unavoidable. So let's just highlight it. Sometimes I still get nervous with her in the room for some reason. And it's weird, I know, but like, I don't know, she just makes me nervous because I love her so much and I want her to like, like my stuff. And it's about her too, so I'm like singing about her. It's just like, it's a weird thing, but it's awesome. It's really hard being the muse of a whole album. Hey. Just kidding, don't put that in there. Like the other day, she doesn't know this, but I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be done in 30 minutes. We're gonna go and eat. Um, you wanna just go back and like get dressed and we'll go to, the, to eat? But really I was like basically getting her out of the studio so I could finish the song because I was like feeling pressure about like her being in there, but I didn't want to like make her feel bad about it. So I was like, I had to plan a dinner <laughs> and I didn't have a dinner planned. So I was like, I had to get a table and everything, but it was good. I mean, that does show a bit of thoughtfulness on Justin's side right there, what he was saying. And it didn't seem like he was putting it on, like he was just forcing that to sound like he's a good person. It really did seem to me like he was being truthful when he was saying that about Haley and making sure that she wasn't feeling bored in the studio by for so, so, so many hours. So um, that's good, I liked that. They do spend a lot of time working on their relationship. I mean, I think I'm not married, but I understand that when I am married, it's gonna be a lot of work. And I think they're very- The other thing that everybody has to remember is like they are by today's standards, a young married couple and for them to be living together at this age is different. And like he just said, they're working on their relationship. Most people get to go through several serious relationships before they get into a really long serious relationship. Um, so they've learned all of the ins and outs of relationships by the time they're ready for a really long-term one. Whereas Justin and Haley, yeah, they've been in relationships before, but like, 
they haven't been in like super longer term ones that are super committed where they're living with each other. For their case, they are learning as they go. And I think that's important to point out. Just the idea of stability uh, is something that I really never had growing up. And it's something that I've always really wanted. She's just a pillar for, for him. And even anything he experiences in life, I think that she's, I, I have a lot of trust and confidence knowing that she's, she's there as such a firm foundation and support. Like really, really, she's, she's, she's incredible. I sleep great now that Justin is married and that she is around. Not only because I don't worry about what call I'm gonna wake up to, which is what the case was five years ago, but also because I know that someone is there with him. If something goes wrong, there's this very competent, capable, smart adult that is there to help him with it. And I also know he's much happier than the Justin Bieber five years ago. I took my meds early, what do you mean? You took them at two. Yeah. You're supposed to take these at three. You know what I say to that? <laughs> All right, Zip me time. up, girl! Hey! Zip me up! I got you. Don't be nervous. I do this every day. I'm basically a hyperbaric oxygen chamber technician at this point. I don't really think that the relationship is as toxic as maybe I made it out to be in the first video. Yes, Justin is immature. Definitely Justin does have this almost narcissistic vibe about him and he likes to jab Haley and Haley takes it and is constantly, constantly forgiving him. Uh, but from what I've seen here and how Justin talks, there's some creepy parts, but there's also parts that I see that are genuinely, authentically thoughtful of Haley. I don't use just the word loving. Yeah, he could love her, that's okay. But to be thoughtful of how she's feeling, when he mentioned that, that was important to me because that is the difference between somebody that kind of just like, you know that feeling like when you're a kid, you love your parents, you don't really show it in so many ways because you're so used to just being coddled by them, having them do things for you. You're like five, you're like six. That is one kind of love. In many ways, Justin does kind of, I think, resemble that dynamic, but at the same time, like I said, when I noticed he said that thoughtful thing about Haley, about, you know, having her get dinner because she's been in the studio too long. That is another level. And also whoever that guy was with the blue shirt saying that they're constantly working on their relationship. I think that is so important to understand. They are still young and they are in a marriage together, living with each other day in and day out. That ain't easy. Okay, so everybody has to understand that. I have a feeling if they do stay together, which I do think they will, um, in 10 years, you're gonna see a very different dynamic. Yeah, maybe Justin will still have a little bit of those narcissistic traits and Haley will still be kind of forgiving him, but I still feel it's gonna be a lot less. I think they're gonna kind of work through those issues. And especially if they saw this video, it'll be so highlighted that it'll be unavoidable to work on. And so Haley, Justin, if you're watching this one too, I wish the best for you guys. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Again, if you want to join the membership, which gives you first choice on reaction videos that I do, discounts on my merch and on my courses, video chat with me in my Discord and a lot more stuff, join. It's $5 a month. Link is in the description. I will see you next time, my beautiful, beautiful f